Cancer. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. And if you're interested in scheduling a personal reading with spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Now, for even more empath energy, check out my husband. He's over at 7D Tarot. And his information is also going to be down in the description box below. Let's dive right in. We have the strength card and the four swords in reverse coming out as your overall energy. Okay, so Cancer, right now you're in a situation, a particular endeavor. Here's the deal, right? The universe is always getting us ready to be ready to be ready. We're always in a period of training. Every single chapter is always ready, is always just there for us to gain the necessary experience to get ready for what is to come next. That's how we kind of always know what's to come based upon what we're being called to do in this particular chapter. Now we have to get really good about listening to what our, what our desires are in this chapter, right? That comes number one, because once we honor our needs, then we know, okay, I'm being called to learn, read this book. I'm being called to evolve myself here. I'm being called to make sure that I do this. Whatever it is you're being called to do, that's what you're being called to do. You'll know what you're calling because it feels easy, it feels good, you feel satisfied when you're doing it, right? Feels like the right thing. That's how you know that's the action steps for this particular chapter. But whenever we pick up psychically what's to come in the future, we tend to put a control on the actions of our today because we want the future to go exactly how we've picked it up. But we get just little increments and little bits of the puzzle of what's going to come. Ooh, this is what's happening. We're going to have this outcome. Yes, yes, yes. And then we think, oh my gosh, I'm not prepared at all. I'm not ready for this endeavor at all. What do I do? I need to make sure I, I know this and get this ready and get this happening. And then we start to control our actions, forcing and efforting and doing more than we need to. And it completely results in burnout. And so the universe is saying, take some space away from that. Whatever you're psychically picking up, what I want you to tell yourself is, hmm, interesting, that's coming, but it's still simmering right now, so I don't need to try the soup, I don't need to make the soup, add more spices and make it better, I just need to let the ingredients simmer until the soup is ready to be eaten. And that's what you have to remind yourself, because right now, all you're being called to do is very, very simple steps. And right now, it feels like you're overcomplicating the situation, creating more emotional stress than necessary and more control over the fact of, over the situation than necessary. So what you what, what you can do for yourself again is more come from a curious mind state. Curious, interesting, hmm, be open. Anytime we get serious and fall into a control um, if, if space, right? Controlling our, our future from our fears of our past, right? we really wanna be mindful of that and really just wanna ask yourself, what is it that makes me happy in this moment? What is it that would be fun for me right now? If I could do anything I wanted, what would I do, right? Because this is your canvas. This this is your painting. This is your creation. A lot of the times we feel like we need to make a painting that someone else likes, or we should be doing this painting because we think that it's going to be more reciprocated, or we think that it's going to get us more money. But when we create art from a place of trying to get acceptance or money, we end up forcing the painting and it ends up not being from our hearts, you know, creation. It ends up being from a programmed up misconstrued idea of what we really are feeling inside, right? And that's when things get go a little bit awire for us. And then we see our painting and we're like, well, this isn't the painting that resonates. This is, I don't like this painting. I don't want this life, right? This doesn't seem right to me. But then we have to take a step back and just remind ourselves, oh yeah, I don't want to react to this painting. I just want to recognize, oh, I see this painting that I've created didn't come from a soul inspired place. I need to get back in alignment with what all of my desires are and back in alignment with what makes me happy, not, but not happiness from a fake validated place or happiness from a need to have, you know, um, uh, acceptance or um, attention, right? A lot of the times if, as an empath, if we didn't receive the attention that we, our hearts really wanted, or our hearts felt like we didn't get the attention, our spirits didn't get the attention when we were younger, we overcompensate for that in our adult years, right? And we try to get attention from talking too loudly, from doing more than we need to do, right? From looking a certain way, right? And 
The real attention that we're looking for comes when we honor our spirit's needs because that's the attention we want because that attention is a full spirit inspired place. It's confidence. It doesn't matter what you look like, what you own, where you're from, any of that stuff. It's about the energy that you're projecting out into the world. That's how we attain, obtain the, the um, attention and the uh, fulfillment that we really are craving, right? That connection that we're really craving because we're connected to ourselves. And it's that connection that yields us the connections in our outer world that we're looking for. So never deny yourself that right. Cancer, always uh, stay true to what your heart is and always know that the uh, attention and affection and and, and love that you would like to receive from beings and from circumstances in your outer world, the respect you want in your outer world, that comes from you making sure that you're always taking care of your inner world, listening to your heart, listening to your spirit. Because I can see here that new opportunities are unfolding as we speak, passion, excitement, joy. This may come in the form of a new relationship full of passion. This may come in the form of a new project, a new awareness of your life, right? But either way, whatever it is that your heart truly desires, it's here for you and it's on its way. And as a matter of fact, it is right here. And you just have to let go of the control of trying to control and manipulate it from coming in. And that's again, always what happens. So let it go, let it go. And just understand that whatever we want most will be flown into our life the minute that we let it go. So it's really bang for buck, the best case scenario, if you know what I'm saying. So we have a relationship that is here. So again, that Ace of Wands is gonna symbolize a new relationship coming forward, one that is gonna amount to a long-term relationship, one full of happiness and joy. Could be plutonic, could be romantic, whatever one that is circulating in your, um, or showing up for you right now that is coming forward. So the one thing that you just want to be mindful of is, again, not feeling like you need to make this happen, not feeling like you need to do something that's out of character, not feeling like, um, you know, you want to give up on this notion or you want to give up on this love. Always know that we're impatient. Humans are very impatient, right? We want, we want to see the results right away. We want a, a quick fix to lose weight. We want the best case scenario to, or, or quickest situation to get a bunch of money, right? We always want it to happen now. That is the energy, my friends, of planet Earth. It's very yang, it's very action, it's very go, go, go. When we are in our matrix world too much, we're attached to our friends, we're attached to our belongings, we're attached to our beliefs, we're attached to our lives we've had, the experiences we've gone through. We are attached to our physical temporal world. And when that happens, we're absorbing that energy of go, go, go. You're not good enough. You better do better. This isn't where you wanna be. Hurry up and go and do it, right? And when we're experiencing that, what happens is when we, when we think a thought or when we put some energy into something for like a week, two weeks, and we don't see any results, we're like, ah, what's the point? Am I even on the right path? Am I on the right track? Am I doing the right things? And the universe is saying you're always on the right path. It's always just a mindful awareness of what needs to change. If something's not feeling good, there's always change that's needed. Change is the change that you seek isn't gonna come from you seeking it or forcing it or making it happen. It's gonna come from then you embodying that yin energy of connection, of introspection, of meditation, of silencing the mind and going inwards to your heart so that you receive the guidance from your angels and the divine to be able to push you forward and drive you forward to your next endeavor. And that's why making sure that you have that spiritual practice implemented is going to be the results you're looking for. It's gonna be the guidance you're looking for. Anything that we ever want comes from within. It comes from within. And and it's so funny because we always deny ourselves this right. It's like we think like we're not worthy enough to talk to angels or like it's not gonna happen for us. Like, oh, it happens for some people to connect, but it just doesn't happen for me. No, 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 don't kid yourself. We all have the ability to speak with the divine and speak with um, our angels and speak with, um, uh, with, with ascended masters and beings from the other side. We all have that. It's just a practice. It's just a practice that we have to practice actively on. And it's just, doesn't need to be much, five minutes, 15, 20 minutes a day of just sitting with ourselves in silence and, 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 and having an open heart, not being controlling, you know, go into a meditation, trying to control if you speak or hear words or any of that stuff. No, it's just, it's just understanding that the more consistency we have with something, the stronger it's gonna grow. That's all it is, it's just consistency. Relationships, businesses, life purpose. It's just consistency with energy put into what it is that we wish to acquire. And that is it. And that's how things manifest. It's just generally more often than not, as humans connect to Earth's dense energy, which is go, go, go. And then we feel like the actions 
we're putting into our creations aren't coming to fruition. We have weight we want to lose. We've been working hard for two weeks. We weigh ourselves on the scale. We don't see any weight difference. We're like, what's the point? We feel overwhelmed and exhausted and we stop our progress, right? But all it is is about continuously going and not allowing something in your outer world to influence you. That's not what it's about. Let your inner world influence your outer world not the other way around. Might be time for you to raise your standards up a little bit for yourself, Cancer. Universe is saying if you're feeling a little bit stuck in your life, it's because you're not setting your focus high enough. It's, you're not setting your intentions or your or your um, uh, possibilities high enough. So look past what you're seeing right now and think, how can I make my life even better? What, I, what I'm asking to create, how can I make it a little bit better for myself? And again, leave it open. Let the angels show you the way. Let the angels show you the way. Remember, it's about learning from our past, not staying stuck in our past. We don't want to stay stuck in our past to create. We want to just simply understand that the past was implemented for us to learn. So instead of thinking from past experiences and, you know, um, making choices from past stories and said, what did I learn in this situation? And allow that to be your driving force to make yourself better and evolve yourself. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.